Todd grew up in Birmingham in the Midlands, which was an industrial town, very industrial, much like your Detroit, really. I was doing um, welding. I actually liked the job, uh, to be honest, but my main thing was music. Yeah, when I was, I think, probably 13 or something like that, I had my first guitar. Before that, in fact, I had an accordion. I played accordion because all my family played accordion. I met this band called the Birds and Bees, and they asked me uh, to come and play with them. They were about to leave for Europe. Um, so I rehearsed and, uh, and was all ready for it. Right, it was my last day at work. I went home for lunch, and I said to my mother, I'm not going to go back, and she says, you go back to work, you finish off, don't you let them down. When my mother sent me back to work, they put me on a, a huge machine, a massive thing, and I didn't know how to work it. Although as I was pushing the metal into the machine, it came down with such a force, and bang, and it just trapped my fingers, and as I pulled my hand back, I pulled the ends of the fingers off. There was blood going all over the place. I don't even remember how I got to the, the hospital when somebody arrived with uh, my fingertips in a matchbox, and they were, I mean, they were just, as far as the hospital was concerned, I could never play again. I was extremely depressed and very down, and the manager from the factory came to visit me at home. Really, really nice guy. And then he told me the story, of course, about Django Reinhardt, who had lost his fingers, you know, through the fire. And it really, wow, and God. And it really inspired me to, to really get on with it and start trying to play, because they were so, my fingers were so sensitive and painful that I got a washing up bottle and I melted it down into a ball and then I'd, I'd sit there with this big ball on my finger of plastic. It was very difficult because you couldn't feel the strings. The strings they made in them days were very heavy and certainly very heavy for me. I made my own sets up and then I dropped the gauge down to make a light set of strings and in fact that was the first official light gauge string ever made. I had to try and make whatever I could sound big because of my disabilities. I came up with another sound by tuning the guitar down. I wanted more gain, a dirty sound, more aggressive and more raw and fat. I plugged it into the bass socket of the amp, which gave it a bit more sort of pump. And that was my sound then. Of course, losing my fingertips was devastating. But in hindsight, it created something. It made me invent a new sound and a different style of playing and a different sort of music. So really, it turned out to be a good thing off a bad thing.